Hello everybody, name's Jaleese. Welcome now everybody to my top 5 Uncharted characters. I will be doing a top 5 villains and I will be doing a top 10 Uncharted missions. This is from all the Uncharted games. This is from Uncharted 1, Drake's Fortune, to all the way to Lost Legacy. So let me give some honorable mentions. First honorable mention is Sam Drake, or Samuel Drake. Here's the thing. I know he's the older brother Nathan, but the thing is, though, I never really cared. I never really had any true connection to this character. I know he's Nathan's long-lost brother, but the fact is that the whole drama of Uncharted 4 was all because of Sam's in need for this obsession. And also because most of the stuff that we went through, all the relationship that Nathan went through as a character through Uncharted A Thief's End was all because of Sam. All his relationship drama with Sully, with Elena, where it nearly cost him his entire marriage with her, it all came from Sam. And granted, he redeemed himself in... Uncharted Lost Legacy, I found him a much more enjoyable character, but to me, he's not one of my favorites. So, one honorable mention is uh, Samuel Drake. Next honorable mention, I'm going to give to Charlie. Charlie was introduced in Uncharted 3, um, and here's the thing. I enjoyed Charlie. Charlie is voiced by the same guy who was the main villain of Uncharted 2, for some odd reason. I did not hear it. But for... Charlie's just a very comedic character. He's... <laughs> He's basically Nathan's go-to guy. If Nathan's not going to be on the treasure hunt, he's going to call Charlie up. Hey, Charlie, you could take care of this one. Charlie's a reliable dude. He's made look like a big brawny dude with no brains and one of those stereotypical villains. But in all reality, he's actually very useful. So Charlie is another honorable mention and the last honorable mention of this list. Number five, I'm going to get to officially to Nadine Ross. Nadine's a fantastic character. To me, I enjoyed her a ton a lot. I enjoyed her a shit ton in freaking Uncharted 4. She was an antagonist to Nathan Drake. She was a formidable opponent. She's one of the first actual female uh, characters in the game where she can actually cook and kick some ass. And Nadine is just a ferocious mercenary. She had her own... She inherited her father's company shoreline she has to deal with, with not only with an uncharted 4 with raf rafi but in uncharted 5 she really gets her redemption and lost legacy her with chloe frazier are a great duel they really have a sisterhood they really have a great bonding experience nadine ross is a fantastic character i enjoy what they were doing with her and i and i gotta be honest with you if there's another Uncharted game, I want it to be another Chloe Frazier and Nadine Ross game. I think we're at the point of this franchise now where we just don't need Nate to drink anymore. We could do maybe Nate to drink his daughter. I could see a Samuel Drake with a Sully team up. I could see Chloe Frazier and Nadine again. I enjoyed the relationship. I enjoyed them together as characters. And Nadine Ross is the ultimate badass. And ultimately, she gets her redemption at the end. And I do enjoy Nadine Ross. So number five is Nadine. And number four, I'm going to give to Chloe Frazier. Chloe was introduced in Uncharted 2 Among Thieves, and she was just awesome. Again, this actress uh, this actress is played beautifully by Claudia Beck, who is tremendous at what she does. And she's just a phenomenal. And Chloe Frazier's character is phenomenal. She has... I like the fact that we get... She's always was this bubbling, reluctant hero in Uncharted 2. She always had some quick work. She was a sexy a female fatale and all that. But it wasn't really too... It wasn't really until we got Uncharted Lost Legacy where we get more of her backstory of her uh, relationship with her father, relationship with technically with her mother, and ultimately why she is a treasure hunter. Why does... Uh, uh, why is she uh, an Australian that's uh, that has an uh, Indian ancestry? So we get a backstory to her. And her relationship with both Nathan is sweet, with Sam is nice, and with Nadine, we really truly got a sisterhood. So Uncharted Lost Legacy, if you don't know, Uncharted Lost Legacy is my favorite, uh, is my second favorite Uncharted game. I would say the only one it doesn't beat is Uncharted 2, but for Chloe Frazier and Nadine Ross in that journey in Lost Legacy, it uh, like it took Nadine Ross into a great character to a fantastic character to a classic character and for this game and what they did for Chloe Frazier for a lost legacy it's, they took a amazing character to a classic I would not mind another uh, two games of just Chloe and Nadine I would love to see their journey where does it end if they form relationships overall I enjoy Chloe Frazier as a character she's a great character so number four is Chloe Frazier Number three, I'm going to give to Elena Fisher. Here's the thing. Elena's been with us all the way since the beginning of the first Uncharted game. 
First, she's a reporter that wants to get her story as a camera girl. She's a camera girl. She's a news reporter. She wants to have just causes. She is a good person. And Chloe Frazier might call her like, oh, look, it's a white picket fence girl, in other words. I mean, she might be like the white picket fence that that, uh, Nathan needs at the end. But ultimately, she's a lot tougher than she looks. She's an ultimate badass. Not much as Chloe, uh, not as much as Chloe or like Nadine. But she's a very, she's not a typical like, oh, those sweet blonde housewives. No, she could kick some ass. She's there for Nathan. And I really, really enjoy the relationship. She and Nathan eventually have a child together. She is the ultimate love story to our protagonist. And without her, he does not work. Without her, he is not truly whole. It's two ha- It's two halves. One side and needs the other. They cannot, uh, like, to me, Elena is Nathan Drake's soulmate. And I love her as a character. I love her as a mother. I love her as a best friend. I love her in general as a character because she makes everything of the Uncharted series just more enriched. And I love Elena Fisher. So Elena Fisher, number three. And number two, I'm going to give to Victor G.D. Sullivan. Victor Sullivan is freaking fantastic. He is a surrogate father of Nathan Drake. He is, again, he is the father figure of the group. He's getting too old for this shit, but he still has enough wise crack jokes. He still could do his own stunts. He could still do anything he wants to do. He's a, he feels he's young at heart is what our Victor Sullivan is. He is the ultimate protege. He's not the protege. He is what Nathan Drake looks up to. He is the person that Nathan Drake sees as a father figure. And without Sully, he is the grandpa of this family. Without Sully, it just doesn't... Like, to me, the top three core characters is obviously Nathan Drake, Elena Fisher, and Victor Sullivan. Victor Sullivan is a grandpa of the family. He is the father figure of the family. He could be a, be a perverted old man, and, and he smoked a little bit too much cigars, but that most makes him a lovable character. Victor Sullivan is truly one of the hearts of Uncharted, and he is number two. And absolutely number one is absolutely, to no one's surprise, is Nathan Drake. He is a stereotypical Indiana Jones wannabe, and I absolutely love him for it. I love Nathan Drake as a character. I love each of his relationship, whether it deals with Sam, with uh, Elena, with Sully. He always has a drive to find lost cities. He always has a drive to always survive. He's like the cockroach that ain't gonna die. Uh, he has quirky one-liner. He is the Han Solo, Nathan Fillon, uh, Indiana Jones, stereotypical uh, character, and I absolutely love him as a character. Nathan Drake is a fantastic Uncharted character. Maybe stereotypical, maybe predictable, but that's what makes the Uncharted series fantastic. It's his characters. You got the grandpa and, and Victor Sullivan. You got the cool uncle and Samuel Drake. You got the great mom and Chloe Frazier. You got a, a crazy uh, uh, badass Anne and Chloe Frazier. And you got a freaking badass and Nadine Ross. There's so many great characters of Uncharted. And Uncharted 1 is definitely Nathan. Uh, like Uncharted in general is all Nathan Drake's story. But it, even though it is his story, all these characters are fantastic. But that's my personal opinion. Everybody. What's your personal top five Uncharted characters? Is Victor Sullivan your favorite one? Is Samuel Drake over Nathan? Would you have Samuel Drake out of the freaking list? And would you rather have uh, Charlie on the top five? Please let me know what you all think, everybody. Name's Elise, and I offered everybody. Bye-bye.